Hello friends, if want to learn how to delete data from MySQL table, by using Ajax under Encode Igniter 4 framework, then you have come on right place, because under this part, we will describe you, how to perform delete data operation in Code Igniter 4 framework, by using Ajax. Here we have make single page, Ajax CRUD application in Code Igniter 4 framework, and in previous part, we have already described how to update MySQL table, in Code Igniter 4 framework using Ajax, now we have proceed for delete data. So first we want to make delete button in each row of data, so we have go to Ajax CRUD model.php model class, and here we have already make button method, which has been used for create edit button. Now we want to create delete button, so under this function, here we have write button tag, with type is equal to button, class is equal to delete, data id attribute is equal to, value of dollar row id variable, and in button text, we have write delete. So by this button, we can delete data from MySQL table, and for display button on web page. So in Ajax CRUD controller class, we have already called this function, at the time of creating edit button, so we have saved this code and check output in browser. Friends, here we can see edit button in each row of data, now we have refresh web page, after refresh of page, here we can see that delete button has been appear in each row of data, now we have proceed for, how to delete data using Ajax. So we have go to Ajax crud.php views file, and here we have write dollar with document selector, with on method, and under this we have right click event, with delete button class delete, so when we have click on delete button, then this block of code will execute. Under this block, we have write id variable is equal to, dollar this with data method, and under this, we have write id, so this code will fetch value from data id attribute, and store under this id variable. Next, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write confirm, with message like are you sure you want to remove it, so if user click on delete button, then this message will pop up in browser, with ok and cancel button, so if user click on ok button, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have start write ajax request, so under this we have write url option, and under this option, we have write php echo statement, with base url function, and under this function, we have write ajax crud slash delete, so it will send request to delete method of ajax crud controller. In second option, we have write method, and here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option, we have write data, and under this option we can define which data, we want send to server, so here we have define id variable. Lastly, we have write success callback function, this function will be called if ajax request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server, which can be accessed from this data argument. Under this success function, we have write dollar with span tag id message, with html method, and under this, we have write data, so it will display success message on web page. After this, we want to display remaining data in jQuery data table, so here we have write dollar with table id sample table, with data table method, after this, we have write ajax.reload, so this method will display remaining data on web page, without refresh of web page. Now after some time, we want to remove success message, so for this, here we have write set timeout function, with 5000 millisecond, 
so it will execute this block of code after 5 second. Under this function, we have write dollar with span tag id message, with html method, with blank value, so after 5 seconds it will remove success message from web page. So here our jQuery code is ready, now we have go to ajax crud controller class, and here we have make delete method, this method will receive ajax request, for delete data. Under this method, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write if variable, so if this variable has some value, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar id variable is equal to dollar post id variable, so here we have store dollar post id variable value under this dollar id variable. Next we want to create object of Ajax crud model class, so here we have write dollar crud model variable is equal to new Ajax crud model class. After this, we have write dollar crud model object with where method, and under this, we have write id table column name with dollar id variable, so this method will add where condition in delete query. Next. We have write delete method with dollar id variable as argument, so this method will delete a single record from user table. For display success message on web page, here we have write echo statement with division tag with class is equal to alert, alert success, and between this tag, we have write message like user data deleted. So this message will be displayed to user on web page. So here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser. So friends, here we can see edit and delete button, in each row of data, so first we have refresh web page, after refresh of page, we want to delete this first row of data. So we have click on delete button, after click on delete button, here on web page. We can see pop-up dialog box appear with OK and Cancel button. First we have click on Cancel button. Then here we can see no any action has been performed. Now we have again click on Delete button. And we have click on OK button. So after click on OK button. Then on web page. We can see success message on web page. So here it will ask confirmation. Before deleting of any data. So in this tutorial, we have seen how to delete data using Ajax under this code igniter 4 framework, and here our single page Ajax CRUD application has been ready, under this code igniter 4 framework, and in this application, we have used jQuery data table plugin for load data in tabular format on web page, and use bootstrap models for insert or update MySQL data. And in this application user can perform all operation in single page. So this way we can perform Ajax CRUD operation in Code Igniter 4 framework. In next tutorial, we will some new topics in Code Igniter 4 framework. Lastly, if you have any query or inputs regarding this tutorial, you can ask your query in comment box. If you have liked this video, please share with your friends. Or even you can also share on social media also. And lastly don't forget to subscribe our channel for future video tutorials.